that trout. He's nice, he's a fatty. That's not a holdover, that's a fairly recent planter, but uh, we will take him. That's a nice fish to break the ice on, and uh, he jumped all over a Tui Chub pattern trolling fly. Um, well, he smashed that fly. What a beautiful rainbow. Nice fish, 16, 17 inches long probably. Just a beautiful trout. <laughs> that is a blue back uh, smelt pattern fly, and uh, that was my fourth hit. But uh, that's the hit that counted right there. Look at that trout. That's a dandy rainbow. Look at those big, beautiful rainbows. That's what trolling flies can do. You think trolling flies don't work? Well, think again. You need to grab a set of my trolling flies, get out on the water, and get ready to go big. Ha <laughs> ha, yes. Howdy folks, Cal Kellogg here. Well, if you've watched the channel much, you know I enjoy trolling flies for trout. And over the past couple years, I've caught some tremendous trout on trolling flies. Um, about six months ago, I started offering up my own signature series sets of trolling flies in the Fish Hunt Shoot production store. Um, and those kits consist of 10 flies, three wheel discs, and a nice box to keep everything in. They look just like this. Here's a full box right here. Well. Recently, I've updated the flies that are included in the selection, and I just wanted to share those with you guys today. So let me shut, set the box down, and I'll show you the flies. Okay, I'm back. Um, taking the flies out of one of my kits and hooked them on this pool floaty so we can discuss them individually. Um, in the kits, you're going to find two types of flies. You're going to find five bait fish imitations and five attractor flies. Let's talk about the bait fish imitations first. Um, this fly right here... This is our thread fin shad imitation. Check out the big eye on that fly. This has become one of our cornerstone flies. You know, our, our viewers here that have bought the kits have caught fish up to about six pounds on these. It's got that great light blue over white coloration. It just works. Team it with a wiggle disc, run it around shad schools, and you're gonna be yelling fish on. Now up at some high mountain lakes, the fish will still feed on bait fish, but typically not on smelt or thread fin shad like to feed on chubs and stuff like that. I'm talking about lakes like Elmanor and Davis, and uh, that's why I've incorporated this fly. It's a slim profile olive streamer. Notice the barred effect in that feather. That trigger strikes, it's very natural in the water, so if you're up in the high Sierras at a place where they don't have shad, where they don't have smelt, this is a very strong choice. Um, no fly kit would be complete without pond smelt imitations, and I have three. I have my red smelt right here. It's got some flash, red over white, and of course it has the eye. Very slim profile through the water, very realistic. Along those same lines, I have my light blue smelt right there, and I have, this is my favorite smelt imitation, my dark blue smelt. It's got that strong iridescent peacock curl above the blue, fades into white, um, that is what the fish look for when they look for bait fish. When they're looking for smelt, they're used to seeing that dark over light coloration and uh, that fly definitely checks all those boxes. So those are the five bait fish imitations. Let's take a look at the attractors. Now you saw me catch, if you've been watching the channel much, you saw me catch a three pound rainbow on this up at Shasta last September, I think. Caught the fish deep, about 101 feet deep in Silver Thorn Bay. The fish were you know, feeding on shad. I paired this with a wiggle disc, and uh, I think you can see them there. It has large lead eyes, and when you pair those lead eyes with the wiggle disc, you get a very unique vibration, a very unique action, and uh, hey, what can I say? Triggered that fish up at Shasta, and I've caught a bunch of fish on it since then, but that's the biggest fish I've caught on it so far. Now, if you're in situations where you think there's some trophy fish around, these next two flies are the ones to reach for. I've got this large, you know, this is a very shaddy profile bait. It's got some yellow, some white, it's got some flash, and incorporates wool, marabou, and feathers. It's a great big fish pattern. It has those lead eyes. Pair it with the wiggle disc and run this thing about two miles an hour, and it will produce results. Now this, this fly here, this is a fly I would reach for in a situation where I would be thinking Rapala, something like that. I'm thinking there's big predators around that are feeding on, you know, any kind of bait fish of opportunity. Big browns around, big rainbows around. 
This is my wool head sculpin imitation. It incorporates wool, some flash, some rabbit fur, and some marabou. Team this with the wiggle disc. Run it, you know, pretty fast. Two, 2.2. 2. And if there is a big predator around, a big brown around, and they are in the mood to feed, they are going to jump all over that. It's very soft. It has a ton of action but it's bulky and it looks like a substantial meal. I mean, look at that. That's about three and a half inches long. It just rings a dinner bell for those big fish. And uh, the final two flies, they're pretty basic. Um, they are straight marabou streamers. I have one in olive for all the bug lakes, the Davises, the uh, French meadows, stuff like that. And I have one in white, which is gonna work anywhere there's bait fish. Folsom, Collins, um, Rollins, wherever there's bait, go with the white marabou streamer. Marabou has tremendous action in the water. And uh, wherever they're feeding on bugs, you know, damselflies, stuff like that, reach for the olive fly, run them with that wiggle disc. I would run these slow, one to one and a half. Definitely on the slow side, you're gonna get a ton of action out of that marabou and uh, you're gonna be yelling fish on. So that's the 10 flies. That's our updated kit. If you're interested in getting into fly trolling, interested in getting your hands on one of my kits, click on over to the Fish Hunt Shoot Production Store and uh, you're gonna be satisfied with the results. You see me catch all those big fish here on the channel on my trolling flies and uh, you'll be doing the same thing. So get on over there now, grab a kit, and get ready to get out on the water and get ready to yell fish on. I wanna thank you guys for all the support here on the channel. Please hit that subscribe button. We're over 3 million views, upwards of 11,000 subscribers, and it's all due to you guys. Anyway, I'm Kel Kellogg. I'm signing off. You have a wonderful day.